After all the backlash, Jackie Aina finally responded. Let's talk about that and her response straight after this intro. You said, I did apologize, I did, I did apologize. Cordelia, you're getting hate mail <laughs> on your MySpace. Cordelia, I mean, uh, Tanisha. I get can... hate mail, I get death Exactly, so my point is. <laughs> Hello. Now, listen. Yes. My point is, you can squash that now. Apologies in the dark when you're a public figure don't really mean anything. That's why people go on the air when they make a mistake. I'm sorry I called people that and I really didn't mean that. They do it publicly because you have to apologize to everybody. Do you understand? What up everyone? It's your boy Marta Lewis. Team Real. Welcome to my channel where I call out fake awesome and talk about YouTube drama. So recently, as you guys know, if you haven't seen the video, go watch it now. Jackie Aina basically made a video accusing Petty Page for scamming, stealing money out of her bank account and all that shit. After the video, there was a huge backlash on her behalf because all the adults in the community started to speak out against her because it wasn't cool and it was complete bullshit. Also, I'm going to talk about the response that she finally gave and show you some things that you guys haven't seen yet. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest drama. And thank you so much for helping me before. Big shout out to this chick because she was the first one to answer five questions because you know if this many people answer this many questions it will help me out in the comment section to reach a thousand and whatevers and if you have any story or leads all my social media links are in the description below so let's get straight into the drama can we just sit and talk about this backlash and just pray Pray, Jesus, thank you so much for Aina Anus, whatever her name is, for getting all this backlash, because she deserved it, rightfully so. Amen. The beauty community came together. It was all cute. Sticking up for Pee Pee, my friend. I really appreciate it. Drama channels are making videos. Damn, even Peter stand up for her. After getting dragged a couple of times in the comments, I don't know if he did it because people were like, you an asshole if you don't stick up for her, or if it really was because of his whole lawyer situation. I don't know. Some people have a different opinion on it. That shit's funny. Rich Lux even made a video a few days after, and he couldn't even say his name, homegirl. I was like a big man like that, scared of Jackie. Why he scared of mentioning her name? Maybe he didn't want to get a strike or whatever. That's probably most likely because you know it's just smart not to mention a name most people didn't care though oh, but afterwards he grew some colors and he eventually said her name in the next video so you know good on him for speaking up he must have been like damn I'm missing out some views if I don't say her name <laughs> here for the tea didn't make a video but she had this to say on you now but I don't agree with what Jackie did Right, okay. I think it was wrong. I think it was unfair. I think it was reckless. I don't agree with what Jackie did at all. I don't feel, I feel like, like to make those accusations and not show even a shred of proof is unfair. Um, none of the beauty gurus had anything to say, I don't think, well, not that I've seen. I know Thomas said something in his live stream not long ago. Jackie Anna and Petty Page thing I don't want to talk about because honestly, I feel like I understand both sides. I understand the confusion on Jackie's side and I understand the confusion on uh, Paige's side. I don't like the fact that Jackie made a video though. I don't like that, but... And you know that guy, what's his name again? Oh, you cuckin. That's his name, right? Cookin, cuckin, kickin. I it's not really important. You know who I'm talking about. You know, he did some tweets and deletes. Shout out to my girl Josephine for being so quick and getting these screenshots. I can't believe this Jackie Ina and Paige drama. Lameo. Jackie blatantly pulling this Paige hacked me out of her ass. Paige blatantly acting like a sociopathic narcissist 
playing the victim in a situation she vindictively started herself. A match made in heaven. I personally think he's projecting and talking about himself because we all know who the real narcissist is, okay? Meanwhile, Jackie Inas Jackie Ina isn't kissing here for the tea's ass because here for the influencer took her side when she was exposed doing fake giveaways. He then says, Paige and I spoke on the phone on Snapchat. She was crying after fighting with Teabag. And we spoke for four hours. The girl that had slandered me for over a year. I felt sorry for her. She told me she had moved near me and she wanted to hang out. Complete narcissist. She wanted to interview you and get your side on the situations. But maybe he thought, differently you know how he's a bit cray cray Paige has continuously spread defaming lies about me insinuating charity fraud etc if I say anything you can guarantee she would suddenly become the victim do you followers know you were asking for an invite to my makeup launch can you imagine or you asked to hang out absolutely cancerous He needs some coconuts, he needs to relax or some shit because he's pressing y'all. Look how mad he is. Now Jackie Ina's first response before the big apology thing was on YouTube. Someone commented saying, You are stupid as F to just take her word on this without any evidence. And then Jackie said, and y'all less than smart for believing every inch of some of the toxic stuff that these drama channels and gossip blogs say about YouTubers and their personal lives every single day. Where is that same energy? Well, I can't really speak for all drama channels, but I could definitely speak for Paige after watching her videos. Uh, she brought facts. You didn't. That's the difference. Now, Jackie Ina's response on Twitter. I'm a real person and let my emotions get the best of me. I should have never posted that video. I want to apologize to Paige Christy UK and also my subscribers. My channel is a reflection of who I am. And moving forward, I want to continue to create content that makes people feel good. Paige, let me know if you'd like to speak more on this privately. I would love to have an honest conversation with you so we can move forward positively. I was looking at all the hate comments that I got on that video. Now you're eating your own words. Now this is a bullshit apology like the tea was, okay? What type of tea is that? When you apologize, you gotta talk about what are you apologizing for. You feel me? Considering that you put this on video, you should also apologize on video. And explain what you're apologizing for because that's what public figures do. Well, Tyra Banks said anyway. You gotta retract what you said. You gotta go on there and be like, hey everybody, it's Jackie Iina here. And I'm just here to apologize to Petty Page for accusing her for hacking into my bank or my email or whatever and stealing some money. I apologize, it is not true. She did not do that. Well, I don't have any evidence anyway. But no, she didn't do that and I apologize. I'm sorry, Petty Page. And subscribe to Martin Lewis. I feel that her ego is so big that she can't go on YouTube and apologize. If she does, I will personally, and I know a lot of people, will have a lot more respect for her. Shout out to this Twitter handler, man. You're just going to love the people that are using logic. Anyway, let me read what she said. Jackie, I was such a huge fan for a long time, but this apology is really unacceptable, lol. As is obvious in the comments below, many of your followers have no idea of the situation. You purposefully left this statement vague enough to not admit guilt for the really awful things you uh, did to Petty Page, and that's because she's self-entitled. 
Anyway, it sounds like you don't want your followers to know what you did because you know it was wrong and unfounded. And still, you haven't stated or shown anything regarding proof of your accusations. This apology is too little, too late. And then this Ariana girl, this is when I love this um, gay panic, was like, but then Paige came for her career. It was acceptable, question mark. I don't get y'all. See, this is what these people don't get. And this, this person really put some logic and common sense into this argument. Let's read forward. Uh, he goes, I would recommend you go and, and watch Paige's two videos regarding Jackie. While I agree they may be a little catty, nothing contained with them were false accusations. And nothing was to the scale of what Jackie claimed with no proof, might I add. Lol. Like, bong. Also, come for her career is a little overdramatic, don't you think? Asking Jackie to be more transparent about her affiliated links and finding a problem with Jackie not sending out a giveaway package because the winner annoyed her isn't the same as accusing someone of literal theft. But then Paige speaks about something that bothers her. It's completely fine. How is that fair? If the roles were reversed, no one would be saying anything about it. You would eat every word up and then start attacking Jackie. Then, Gay Panic uses common sense again and logic, something that bothers her, accusing someone of theft and bank fraud. You can spout all the what-ifs you want, but the facts are that the evidence or lack thereof is not in Jackie's favor. Then Ariana's like, Jackie may have made a mistake, but we all make them. That's why you apologize and grow and move from it. Anyway, I'll always support Jackie, even after all this, because I'm a me I mean, because she gives black women like myself something to be positive about. She shows us daily with her success in the YouTube business that one of our own can be and then this person goes by going after another smaller black woman facts then she goes you mean the same smaller black woman that came after her whenever she has the chance <laughs> what bullshit anyway this person's like there's a big difference between asking Jackie to follow the law, disclosing sponsorships and affiliated links, and falsely accusing her of stealing 1500 But go off. And yeah, that's the, th I swear to God, they're ba the basic arguments a lot of her fans have been having, and they really just don't get it. Now, because she hasn't apologized for all this bullshit she has spread across the internet, Patty Page is debating if she should go and get a lawyer, you know? And that's a sticky situation because it's like you're in a situation where someone has ruined your name and now you need it to be cleared up, but this person doesn't want to be woman enough and apologize. And it's like, damn, how am I going to get jobs if they go looking on the internet and then find out that I'm this scammer when I'm not? You know, she's in a situation where she needs to clear her name and... It sucks to be in that situation because you need that type of money to be flowing in just to be getting a lawyer. Plus, she just had surgery, a lot of money for that. Plus, she's getting married. This is why everyone needs to get a sugar daddy. Problem solved. Hey guys, and I'm your guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit that subscribe button because if you don't, Jackie's gonna accuse you for hacking and scamming, so you better hit that subscribe button with the bell, okay? And smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in another drama video.